Hello everyone and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement 2, second channel video. I have a glove on and that's because we have a TV set here that's kind of gross. Just putting this TV on the bench, I am getting a very strong whiff of cigarettes. So as Shango66 would say, this TV's got nicotine glaze. Smoker's choice. I mean, it's, if you can believe it, this is a realistic Portavision color TV. I don't quite see a model number yet. Uh, VHF high and low, UHF. We have a tuning knob, a very cloudy little window, an auto switch, volume control. What looks like a power switch on the front here. Uh, tuning knob. Oh, this is for the FM radio, which is this lower part of the, the TV. I wonder if it comes apart, like it's two separate sections. Uh, maybe not. And a selector switch, TV, FM, AM. Well, um, turning it around, we get a nice clear view of that nicotine glaze. Like, this is not yellowing. This is not yellowing. That is just, oh, um, that's why I have gloves on. Anyhow, side of the case is extremely yellowed and splotchy. And um, yeah, really strong smell of cigarettes. Top of the set has a carry handle here. Just yellow, even, even the antenna. Even the antenna is yellow. Probably not really coming across in the camera, but the shiny metal inside is the right color, but down here it's got the nicotine glaze going on. On the back of the set here, VHF, UHF, external or rod antenna setting there. And we have realistic Portavision Model number 18-105. This supports AC 120 volts input, DC 16 volts from D cell batteries, or DC 12 volts from a car battery. So that means like 14 or so volts through the barrel connector right there. And if we turn it to this side here, we have H hold, V hold, tint, color, contrast, and brightness. And on the bottom, Definitely have the, uh, let's still, like, turn this on the side here. Even the glaze is on the bottom. Oh, and it has batteries. How nice. Duraleaks, March 2008. And there's like these plastic carriers. Let's get this out of here. Duraleak, and that has not even leaked. So it's got like these tubes, I guess, you, you put the batteries in just for ease of insertion. Something has leaked in the past. There's some green there, kind of got on my bench, but this battery, that battery's good. I mean, could this work? Could it work with these batteries? I'm just gonna put these back in. Why not? I mean, just look at that bottom there. Mmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, obviously this doesn't work because I had already attempted to turn this on and, whoa, there is some acti some life. So I have this set for FM. Okay, I think whatever life is there is, is gone. There must've been a, a little bit of charge in those batteries. So I'm just, um, you know what, whatever. I'm gonna leave them in there because down on the floor here, I have a couple power supplies that this came with. Um, this one here is 12 volt DC 800 milliamp from Pocket Vision. I think that's, that is for something else. That is not for this TV. But the regular AC power cord, which has a sort of a larger connector than I'm used to, is on here. Which, if anything, is actually useful. And that's because occasionally I get old devices like this and maybe I can use this power cord for something else. I really don't think this is a standard, like a, a normal figure eight would work for this. So turn that off. 
let's see about getting this thing working. Just extremely curious. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Is this going to do anything? First, we'll try FM, I guess. This is world famous DQ soft surf and blue sky bliss. All right. Maybe you so that's FM and it's working. AM. Well, I hear a whole lot of buzz. AM may work better just plugged in or not plugged into um, mains, but plugged into battery or using the batteries, that is. All right, here we go. TV, what's going to happen? Do we have picture? Will this, will this old beast even work? <laughs> oh, it's very, very blurry, but there is an image. There is actually an image. TV tuning. There's the static. I'm going to have to plug something into this thing. So let me find an RF source. Okay, so I have an RF connection from my VCR going into the 300 ohm connection on the back of the TV. I should make sure that I actually have it into the VHF. And I do, and I have it set for external antenna. So let's see, do we actually get an image? <laughs> actually, is the VCR even on? It is on. So first VHF low. Well, you know what? That could actually be it. Let me put a tape in here. All right, we seem to have something. There it is. I'm gonna turn the audio down just so I don't get any kind of copyright strikes. Oh, the tuning, the tuning is not good. I just, let's put auto on. It's extremely sensitive. But look at that, we actually have a color image. It's super washed out. Wow, 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 wow. Let's uh, see if I can adjust these controls on the side for something a little better. Vertical hold, that's very touchy. Very, very touchy. Come on, get a lock, there we go. All the pots are super scratchy. Oh boy. <laughs> These pots are so screwed up. Oh dear, this TV is super unhappy. <laughs> it's funny how bad the tuner is. I just, I cannot get a, a decent picture better than that. Is that even showing up in the camera? Oh, it really is not. It's so <laughs> bad. All right. Well, anyways, I mean, it's sort of working, but clearly there's a lot of things wrong with this thing. You can just make out the blue color from the VCR. I'm going to grab a little Windex and a magic eraser. and Let's see if we can get some of the glaze off this thing. So I have a little piece of magic eraser here. Let's turn it to the side. It's extra glazy, the yellow. Spray a little bit of this Windex on and just see what we get. Can I get down? Oh my God. Oh my God, look, look, look at the clean spot. Oh, this is just, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm very grossed out. Oh, look, it's dripping like brown drips. Oh, so... oh, look at this, look. I mean, there's a clean spot there where you can see the gray color of the television underneath um, and the very yellow magic eraser pad now versus the white color that was originally. Um, let's just, let's just for fun, Try this magic eraser right here on the CRT itself. So we'll give it a little Windex again. And what are we gonna get? Oh, 
So, um, so this was white on that side because it's the other side, and um, yeah, it made a it made a clean spot on the CRT. Is that showing up? There's a nice smooth clean spot now, but um, yeah, and uh, I assume. I assume anywhere I do this, like how about on the sticker right here? <laughs> Will that come clean? So magic eraser with a little Windex on it. Well, it's cleaner. I think that the sticker has absorbed. Look at this, look at this. Look how it dripped down here. And the Windex actually kind of like, look, look, look at this <laughs> little television. And as much as this thing has been through, boy, it's actually improving. The image quality seems to be improving a little bit. Let me hit play on the VCR. Oh no. Okay. Maybe that's not really improving. Uh, yeah. Not quite. Sound. The sound is working, but the image is not so good. Maybe with a full deep cleaning inside and all that, it might work. So there we have it. The realistic Portavision Color TV Smoker's Choice with 30 years of nicotine glaze to enhance the smell inside your house. I'll probably pass this TV on to someone else. Uh, small TVs that are in this shape aren't really my thing. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there you have it. I kind of wanted to show that even what this TV has been through, it still does sort of work. Look, there we go. There's the, the blue image from the VCR at least. So it's a trooper. It's trying to work. So thumbs up to that. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to the second channel. Yada, 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 yada. And that is it. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. And also, if you smoke, you might want to consider quitting. It's probably good for your health in the long term. <laughs> so, okay, bye.